KTSI Measure Local Election Headquarters, and today is the special election to replace Texas Representative Joe Pickett, who stepped down from his position. KTSI 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from downtown El Paso, bringing us what all three candidates vying for his position want you to know. The three candidates that are running in this morning's special election include two Democrats and one Republican. Now, as we reported, District 79 State Representative Joe Pickett stepped down due to health issues. Now, I spoke to all three candidates that are running, and they all had one thing in common. They hope to follow in his footsteps. Candidates looking to fill Pickett's seat. They include former El Paso City Representative Dr. Michael No, EPCC Trustee and Chair Art Fierro, both Democrats, and retiree Han Sassenfeld, a Republican. Dr. Michael No says he wants to help El Paso continue moving forward. The city is progressing. Our, our unemployment is down. Our wages are up. Um, the city is becoming more beautiful. This area is becoming more vibrant. Um, people are really excited about what's happening in El Paso, and I want to make sure that doesn't stop. Republican candidate Han Sassenfeld says he's hoping to represent both parties, which many say is something Representative Pickett always tried to do. I am the only Republican, but that I, I would hope people wouldn't corral me into thinking that everything that the Republicans support, I support. I really want to, to represent all of El Paso, and to do that, I'm willing to listen and try to incorporate other people's ideas and thoughts and, and uh, values into the final legislation that, that we pass. And Democrat Art Fierro says he plans on making sure what Representative Pickett started gets finished. He did such a phenomenal job uh, when it came to transportation issues for El Paso County. And, and that's one of my commitments to uh, see those projects through completion, to make sure that we have the funding, to make sure that we have the, the adequate support to get them through. Now, polls open this morning at 7 a.m. and will be closing at 7 p.m. If you're looking for poll locations, you can head over to KTSM.com. Reporting live from the county courthouse in downtown El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you.